In this video, we're going to be solving equations that have distribution or brackets involved. So here we have a question, and we can see right away there's some brackets here. And what's important is there's actually a number in front of the brackets. So whenever you have a number and then a bracket, we're always dealing with multiplication. And there's kind of two different ways you can solve these depending on the situation. So the first way is using distribution or distributive method. Since this is a two that's gonna be multiplied, it's actually gonna be multiplied to everything inside the bracket. So not only does two get multiplied by the three X, but the two also gets multiplied by the minus one. So it's kind of like you're sharing that two with everything inside the brackets by multiplying. So let's simplify this a little bit. Two times three X is six X. Two times minus one or negative one, we can think of it as, is minus two. And on the right side, we just have 10. Well, this is now just a regular two-step equation and we can do our regular strategy. So I have two numbers that I need to get rid of, six and minus two. I have to get rid of that minus two first and I do it by doing the opposite. So I'm adding two to both sides. When you have a minus two and a plus two, those cancel to make zero. What do I have left over? On the left side, I only have six X remaining. And on the right side, I have 10 plus 2, which is 12. Now, I still need to get x by itself. I have 6 times x, so I have to do the opposite, and I'm going to divide out this 6. What I do to one side, I have to do the other. When you have a 6 on top, 6 on the bottom, they will cancel. So now on the left, I have x is equal to 12 divided by 6 is 2. There's actually a second way of solving this. What you can think of this is as two being multiplied by a bunch of stuff over here. Don't even worry about what's in here. It's just two times a bunch of stuff. Well, if we wanna get rid of that two, we know we can get rid of it by doing the opposite. So why don't we just divide out that two? So what I'm going to do is, since it's two times something, to get rid of the two, I'll just divide that two and I'm going to divide two on both sides. Now I have a two on top, two on bottom. Those cancel. And on the left side, I have everything that's within the brackets, but the only reason the brackets were there is to show the multiplication with the two. Since the two's gone, I can just write whatever's left over without the brackets, because they're no longer important. And 10 divided by two is five. So now we just have a two-step equation and we can work from there instead of doing distribution. Adding one to both sides, these will cancel. I have three X is equal to five plus one is six. Now th I have three X, which is really three times X. So I do the opposite, which is divide by three on both sides. When you have three on top, three on the bottom, they cancel and I'm left with just an X on the left side, and it's equal to six divided by three is two. So just another method to solve something. You should be comfortable solving things in multiple ways.